Spirit, I, I, I'm going to say the Holy Spirit because I hope it's the Holy Spirit. But I keep hearing things, amen, and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm so hopeful for this ministry. Um, she is absolutely phenomenal, and she gets to you straight. That's what a lot of people need, we, you know, a lot of us um, who have been in the Word for a while, we kind of um, give it to you real soft, you know, we try to give it to you however you, you know, the spoon fed me, me this, and the, 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 the bottle fed me, me this, and sometimes it's a, a meat thing, and you just need that thing pushed in there. <laughs> Some people can't, they, you know, they fight you when you try to feed them. I like those big, I, when I grew up like that. When I first got saved, I was a lot like that, and I just give it to you, bam! And you better say thank you when I punch, finish punch you in the back. <laughs> But to God be the glory, she's so much more eloquent than I ever could have imagined at that stage. So I want y'all to welcome her with open arms and open hearts. Minister Nate Coleman. Amen. With stepping stones, Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. the people that are hearing from the Lord or are receiving these 
gifts and signs but don't know what it is. We are like the tender plants coming up in the dry in the dry ground. And so in my mind, in order for us to kind of sort of counteract that that spiritual drought, we need to kind of sort of come together. It's inside of us, positive thoughts. Put positive thoughts in your head. When you think see yourself thinking, oh look at her, da 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 shut it down. Shut it down because everything starts within really originally. Amen. It starts within. So if you can start shutting down that negativity, stop hating, stop being so evil and mean, then you are already making a change and you're already coming together as a whole and as a unit to put this wickedness and this evilness in its place and to stop it and kind of shut it down or die it down. And as I'm thinking about it, it brings me to something that Apostle Keiko said a few weeks ago. She said, um, you all are killing your deliverers. You're killing your deliverers. And ever since she said it, it's been replaying in my mind, replaying in my yeah, mind, replaying yeah. in my mind. And I'm like, you know what? We don't see, we can't see when, who you are. We don't know who you are. Yes. When those people killed Jesus and hung him up there, yeah, he said he was Jesus Christ, but they didn't know for sure that this was Jesus Christ. Yes. And I'm pretty sure if they did, they would not have hung him and killed him. Yes, yes. So, you're killing your deliverers, meaning me, I might not look like a pastor, might not look like a minister, I might not even look like I'm ready for church. But hey, you never know the type of blessing or the type of effect that I can have on your life just by yes. coming to Yes, amen. But yet... You turn me down. Oh, look how she dressed. She not a minister. Oh, look how she talks. She don't speak proper English or she's not, you know. Yes. You're killing your deliverers. People, random people, this child right here, and I'm glad she asked to come up here because this child right here is a deliverer. A lot of things that go on or just happen should just come to me. Mommy, we need to go see somebody. We Amen. need to go do this. We need to do that. Or she see me down. You you okay? Some 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 man. You know, a lot of times I have in the past brushed off what she said. Oh, we need to go see such and such. We need to take them some food. We need to do this and go stop by their house. And I'm like, okay, okay. And I won't even think twice or think no more of it. Then a couple of days later or a week later, I get a phone call. That person's in the hospital. Something didn't happen or they didn't had a, a, a seizure or something. Jesus. This baby was trying to warn me and tell me that I needed to get there so that I could be a deliverer for that person. So Amen. that I could step in Amen. and take on that it. But yet and still I didn't catch on. I wasn't listening. This is a child. A lot of times we don't listen to the children. But the Lord said the children are who inherits the kingdom. So why wouldn't I listen to her? Like the connection that I have with the Lord is a connection that has been built up, a bond that has been built up. The connection that she has with the Lord is a connection and a bond that has been implanted. That yes. is, is beginning to manifest. Amen. Amen. She don't know about these things, but she's learned. She wants to come to church. She wants to get up and she wants to do these things. Amen. So I can see the gifts and things manifested in her. But then another child comes along and tries to tear her back. Oh, you can't be a preacher or your mom da 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 Then what? You're killing a deliverer. You're not physically killing her. You're not physically harming me. But the anointing that I carry. Yes. Or the blessings that she could pour out. She could come and lay hands on you and heal you. <laughs> She's six. But Jeez. she has that, that power. She has that connection with the Lord that's already there. That the Lord is using her. Just like Kayla said, you never know when the Lord is going to use you. You never know how he's going to yes. use you. You never know who he's going to use. Jesus. You could be praying to the Lord, Lord, I want a man that's going to come in and, and rub my feet every night. I want a man that's going to come and cook me dinner. <laughs> and then here it is, you got in your mind that that man's supposed to look like Prince Charming. He's supposed to have six packs. Come on, he got come the on. And everything. But instead, the Lord sends you my <laughs> the Lord might send you Carl. Jesus. And here it is, Carl got on these busted shoes. <laughs> His shirt a little wrinkled. He didn't even think about getting a haircut, but he approached you. And because of his image, because of what he looked like, you're tearing him down. You're killing the deliverer. Because he's not looking like Prince Charming, who you thought would come and save you. 
you're knocking this man down when really the Lord sent him to restore you, to take over and to carry that burden for you, to help build you up. That's your deliverer. But he doesn't look like what you thought he was going to look like. Jesus Christ was sent to deliver them people. But he didn't look like what they thought he was going to look like. So Jesus. he didn't pay him no attention. Bypassed him. And so I just want to encourage you to just be nice to the folks. Amen. Be nice to the folks. People don't have to look like what you think they're supposed to look like. I met a person from a company. I don't know how much money they have or what's their net worth, but I know they got quite a few thousands, maybe even millions. I don't know, but I know quite a few thousands. But when you look at them, Got on his little loaf of shoes, little khaki pants. You Amen. know, Amen. he doesn't look the part. He doesn't look like he's walking around with thousands of dollars in his pocket. Amen. But Amen. yet, still, he can come out and bless you. You know, Jesus. He's Amen. Buying folk, paying for folks' food and stuff in the line. Amen. And people looking at him like, you know, he in here with some loafers and some khakis. Amen. So just stop judging. That's a lot of it. It's just a bunch of judging. And um. Yeah, so if I can just encourage you to just be less judgmental, be nicer, be nicer to folks, show people love, just be encouraging and motivating. Amen. And we can take over the world. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God be the glory. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. And I hope everyone has a great blessed day. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. You got it? Come on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So God, Lord, that word was amazing. And you know what, Pastor Nate, when you was talking, I remembered the word. It was potential. And I, I, it's such a common word, but I could not remember what that word was. I was trying to remember in the car on the way here. It's potential. You know, um, 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 it's Jeremiah who says, um, and, and that he was created. And before he formed me in my mother's womb, he ordained me. Amen. He, he sanctified me and ordained me a prophet into the nation. Mm -hmm. And so um, we've been called far before we were ever um, formed. Honestly, if you look at the 12 disciples, these are 12 random Jews. They were fishermen who were not good at being fishermen. <laughs> they were tax collectors. They were a, as a doctor, as a student. A, 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 you know, it was a bunch of different people. As a matter of fact, not everybody looked and believed what, we refer to one of them as Doubting Thomas because all we can remember is the fact that he did not believe that Jesus even came back. These were colorful people. That's the best way I can say it. And one of them was a thief. Colorful people. I genuinely believe that two things. God had already called them disciples of the Most High far before they were ever formed. And that the love that Jesus Christ showed them pulled out their discipleship. It was not because God got there and began to tell them everything they had been doing wrong. Right. God began to show them how to do everything wrong. Right. Amen. Amen. And so that, that's such a blessing. Amen. That's such an incredible Amen. word. You have no idea the effect that love has. That's Amen. what you've been ministering. Amen. When you said don't be judging and don't be hateful and don't show this, this um, the, you know, negativity. All you're telling us is that we need to love. Amen. God is so good. Amen. Yes, to God be the glory. Yes, I'm so excited. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Somebody give her another hand. That was a <laughs> good word. Yes, Amen. Great word. It is the Amen. potential of man. Okay, I'm, I'm sitting down. <laughs> Amen. The next word that you will hear will be that of Apostle Dr.